Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my Tome Topple Readathon vlog. Woohoo! So, it is currently 8 46 a.m. on what is today? November 17th. And I have changed my clothes, but I have not done pretty much anything else. I ate breakfast, but that was about it. So, I am ready to start reading Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is my first book that I'm going to read for Tome Top Reason, and I'm super excited. Also, just like this cover, just, it just, oh, it makes me so happy. It's so pretty. Um, but I'm probably going to take the dust jacket off so that I don't ruin it while I read it. Um, so, plan for today, I have one class that I need to attend, and then I don't have anything else going on. I have a couple of things that I need to do on my computer, but other than that, I can read pretty much the entire day. So, let's get started. time for an update so right now it is 2 44 p.m. and I have read 138 pages so far today so I am done with my class for today which I took a little clip of that so you probably already saw that and so right now I'm going to actually do some reading for my psychology class I have to read part of my textbook still um because I've been behind on that so I'm gonna at least try and finish the chapter that I'm reading right now and then hopefully I can get back to reading for the readathon. So I'm enjoying my book so far. Oh my goodness, Stranger Dreamer, so good. Um, we just met, well not just, but there's some characters in here that I cannot wait to see how their paths intersect with Lazo Strange's. Um, it's gonna be super fun and I'm also really enjoying Laszlo's like sense of humor it's really funny and he's he yeah has a couple lines that are pretty good um so I'm really enjoying this so far like I said read 138 pages so far today and I still I mean it's quarter to three so I still have pretty much all of tonight to do well to read so yeah I'll check back in with you guys later so can we just look at how dark, oh, you can't even see because my light's on. Hold on. I mean, you're not going to be able to see anything. But, like, this is how dark it is. It is literally 5 p.m. And this is how dark it is outside. Ah, <sighs> Wisconsin winters. So, yeah. So, my plan for right now is to read a little bit more and then one of my favorite people are going to be doing a live stream on Instagram so I'm going to go and watch that so that should be happening at like 6. If you're wondering who it is, it is her name is Jordan Page Suddeth um, who also goes by Jordy. She is 16 and she makes um, short films and she's the creator of this web series named Rings which I really enjoy and so her and the editor Aiden are going to be doing a live stream and I always love watching them do it and so I'm excited about that so I encourage you go check out her stuff she's really amazing she's super cool she's making a Harry Potter film right now well they filmed the Harry Potter one already and she's like gonna be editing it and posting it hopefully soon but I have no idea when um, but she also made a short film called Walk a Moment in someone else's shoes? <laughs> I don't know, she just always refers to it as Walk a Moment. Um, but that one was really, really cool too. So I encourage you, go check her out. But you're not here for that, you're here for reading. So I will uh, get reading and I will update you guys later. So I managed to read some 30-ish more pages. But now the live stream's going on, so I'm going to watch that. It's 7.35 right now. I realize I've done a lot of updates today, but that's because I've had nothing else to do other than um, watch YouTube. 
videos and such. So, I've managed to waste some more time. So, I'm going to continue reading now. I'm on page 166 and loving it, like I said before. and welcome to day two of the Tome Topple Readathon. So it is 9.27 a.m. and I yesterday, I forgot to f do like a wrap up from yesterday, but yesterday I read 219 page, no 214. I have my book literally with me. 214 pages. So I would say I did quite well for the first day. Um, so plan for today is I'm going to watch the Badger game at 11 and then possibly go to see a comedian tonight with my roommates. But I have this thing I have, this article I have to read for a class and I need to study for that class too. So, not entirely sure how much reading I'm going to get done today, but I should be able to get I'm hoping at least another hundred pages in because then I could be then I'll be like over halfway done and that would be cool um Stranger Dreamer so good it's like things are coming together like the pieces of the puzzle are coming together and it's it's gonna get crazy we're starting like the build up to the inevitable like I don't know if it's gonna be a battle necessarily but like the inevitable clash of people so I'm excited to see where it goes um it's yeah it's so so good and I'm really really enjoying it so I'm really happy about that so now I'm going to go finish my breakfast and try and finish reading this stupid article thing I'll talk to you guys later okay I'm watching the badge and I just want how empty it is in here. So it's like an empty There's literally there's no way. Everybody goes home on the weekends. And here I am in my favorite reading spot, which is just my bed. That was a really awkward angle. I'm terribly sorry. But yeah. This is my view outside my window normally. I'm ready to get reading. Let's go. found a new book boyfriend, Laszlo Strange, it's beautiful and perfect and oh my goodness, so sweet. Again, I'm only like halfway through, I'm on page 356 right now and like I can't say what he just did but basically he just offered this girl refreshments. Like, he was like, do you want some tea? Even though he's only met her a few times and, like, there's some interesting circumstances going on around this girl and him, too. But, like, I'm dying inside and I love it so much. So, okay. Like I said, I'm on page 356 and it is 5.03 p.m. I have not done anything since I started reading. I just... I've read and I have I should probably study a little bit more but I don't want to at all because this is getting insanely good and I need to know what happens next so I'm gonna keep reading so I finished it and I'm dead I oh my goodness so I finished Strange the Dreamer which was my first tome so we're only two days in and I've already finished one book, so that's pretty good. Um, it is 7.26 p.m. And, wow, uh, I can't even explain how amazing that book was. 
it was very magical. It definitely was a lot slower in the beginning than it is in the middle. Like, the first section you have to kind of get through. But if you get through it, if you stick with it, like, the first section, for me at least, the first section intrigued me and got me interested, like, why is this... Why is Laszlo Strange the main character of this book? Like, what does he have to offer? And so eventually, like, the story continues, and it's so, so amazing. It ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. Like, I can survive until the next book comes out. But it's going to be difficult because, oh my goodness, it was so cool. It was so well done. So, yeah. I don't know if I have anything else that I can say without giving spoilers, because I obviously don't want to do that. Um, I need to shower. I don't know what else I'm going to do yet. Probably study. I hate studying, but I actually need to do it. Um, and probably watch a movie, because I've read a lot already. It's kind of my plan. I'll let you guys know if I do end up reading anything tomorrow. My plan is just to watch football pretty much all day, so I don't know for sure if I'll start a Plague of Giants. I'm forgetting what it's called right now, but I might start my second tome tomorrow. I might not, but we'll see. Good morning, everybody. It is day four of the Tome Topple Readathon, and I am reading, but not my tome. I am reading, as usual, schoolwork. Um, I have a test on in my popular music class when we come back from break, but I need to just read this now so that I don't have to worry about it again. So I got my textbook here and I'm eating my breakfast. I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to read A Plague of Giants this morning, but I think, well, I have to read stuff for my class tomorrow, this afternoon. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but that's like one of my favorite phrases I'm starting to think, um, is we'll see. Because you can say something, but then it kind of leaves it open, like, if it doesn't happen, like, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. That was weird, sorry. But, as far as reading goes, I didn't end up reading anything yesterday. Like I said, I watched football all day and it was fantastic. I still have finished one tome already, which is super good, so... And I wasn't expecting to finish it that fast either, so I'm pretty happy with myself. Oh, again. So, it is currently 7.38 p.m. and I have not read a single thing for the readathon. I have read quite a bit in general today, but they were all the stuff that I read was for school. So, there's some Twitter sprints that are going on right now, so I'm going to try and join some of those and get a little bit of reading actually done. Because I haven't read anything for the readathon, I still have not started A Plague of Giants yet. But I did, like, open the book and I was going to start reading. And there's, like, little character sketches for each character in the like, beginning of the book, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna get to reading. <laughs> and I've read 120 pages so far in A Plague of Giants. Um, I'm really liking it so far. You can see I'm, again, only 120 pages in, so still have quite a ways to go. But I'm enjoying it so far. I realize now that I haven't really read a ton of high fantasy, and so especially in the beginning, it's very confusing, and you, there's lots of names and strange names and places and world building that honestly has to happen so it's a little bit confusing but I think I'm getting there and I'm enjoying it it's very sarcastic in a lot of places and there's lots of little funny like one-liners that are thrown in which is super fun 
and yeah I'm enjoying it so far also because I have the page habit one it has all the annotations and so I think I've read like three of them three or four so far and they're super fun I like hearing the little author's notes um, about certain things that's all for today because it's 10 30 and I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed alrighty it is what time is it 2 12 and guess what I have not read it all yeah um so I was going to read a little bit because I'm done with classes until after break so hallelujah for that um but I was going to do some reading because they had some Twitter sprints going on and so I went on my phone to check what the Twitter sprint like where it was at kind of and I noticed that one of my favorite booktubers a clockwork reader was doing an Instagram live and so I kind of watched that instead of reading um so that was super fun I enjoy whenever people do Instagram live streams I don't know why but I just find them enjoyable um so that was cool but now my cousin has told me that we're leaving today that means that I have to like pack and get ready it shouldn't take me that long because I don't have to grab that much stuff. I mostly just have to pack like my clothes and then like stuff I want to bring home. But I'm still going to do that. And then yeah, I don't know. Again, I don't know how much reading I'm going to be able to do on in the car. But it, I do have a three hour car ride so I should be able to read at least a little bit. But yeah, that's the update for right now. So I'm going to get to packing and I will see. Maybe read a little bit. I hope. Anyways. But I'll update you guys later. Okay, there's an hour-long sprint that's starting in like seven minutes. So I'm going to try and catch that. But we'll see how it goes because I don't know when my cousin is planning to leave. Um, so I'm pretty much packed. I have like the last minute things I have to grab and that's it. But for right now, we're going to go read. Yes! So the hour sprint went okay. I read 46 pages, which is not terrible. Not fantastic, but not terrible. But I'm just not in reading mood. I just don't really want to read. I want to listen to newsies and waste time on Pinterest. And it's really dark outside, so I won't be able to read in the car, actually. Um, stupid Wisconsin winters. Um, but I don't know, actually, if I'm going to read anymore tonight. I just, I'm not really feeling it. The book is good. I'm enjoying it. But I'm just not really in a reading mood right now. So, which sucks when you're trying to do a readathon where you read large books, but you know. I've read quite a bit so far, and it's only Tuesday, so I have a lot of time still, so I think it'll be fine. Hello, it's Thanksgiving morning, which means it's day six of the Tome Double Readathon. I did not vlog at all yesterday because there was nothing to vlog. Yesterday, um,. I kind of just hung out and then went and worked with my dad for a little bit and then came back and I got to watch the last two episodes of Stranger Things with my brother which was super fun and um, so I managed to get him into that and so he watched them and enjoyed them and now he's has to wait like the rest of us for season three but it was super fun. I have not read a single page of this in like a day so I'm still on page 166 um but i'm home too this is i'm back in my room which is super nice well in typical kira fashion i have not vlogged at all in the last like two days it's saturday i think that means it's day eight or nine of the readathon who i don't know um i also have not read at all even though i had a couple long cards um because that's how i roll but Today I'm going over to my friend Molly's house and she's a really big reader so even though I probably won't read um, I'll get to talk about books at least and um, we're planning on filming a video together so I'm really excited about that. Um, we'll see how it goes because she's never done that before so we'll see but yeah I'm really excited. I'm also going shopping with my mom before I go to her house and then I'm having a friend come over later so today's my like social day. I've been not really antisocial, but I've been like more hanging out with my family since I came home. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but I'm excited to see friends today. I'm still on page 166 of A Plague of Giants, which again, it's it's good. I'm liking it, but I just haven't sat down and read. So I need to do that 
sometime today. That's my update for now. Hello. So like the horrible vlogger that I am, it's now Wednesday, November 29th. So that means there's only today and tomorrow left in the Tome Tubble Readathon. And I have not read any more of my book. I had a very nice break over Thanksgiving and then I came back to school and all I've done since coming back to school the last three days has been homework and watching the, I did watch some TV, um, the crossover episodes between the four DC TV shows, so there's Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl. The crossover was last night and, no, it was Monday and Tuesday night, so that means I watched it Tuesday, Wednesday. So I did watch that, so I watched probably four hours of television, in which I could have been reading, but priorities, you know? The crossover was amazing. They way topped last year's crossover, and I don't know how they will ever make anything better than that crossover, because holy crap, it was amazing. Like, it, it literally had a little bit of everything you could ever imagine. So, again, homework, though. I've had homework. I still have homework. I need to study for my test. I've had well, I've had two tests already, and I have a test tomorrow as well. And then I'll have, like, a week or two, and then I have finals. Oh, boy. But, so I need to start getting ready for that. But, yeah. I'm going to try and read some before I go. I have, like, a worship night that I'm going to, which I'm super excited about. But it just means that I won't really have time to read. So, and then tomorrow night I have Crew, which is used to be called Campus Crusade. It's a campus ministry type thing, like kind of like a youth group, but for college students. And then I ha also am meeting my new roommates. I'm switching rooms because um, I'm technically in overflow, so I'm rooming with an RA, um, which you're not, not supposed to do. But they're like, we have a bed for you. You just will have to move at some point. So I'm moving next semester, but my new roommates wanted to come meet me or wanted me to go meet them. So doing that tomorrow too. So I just don't have time for anything but yeah I just filmed my unboxing for page habit I don't know when all it will be going up but it will go up at some point in time hopefully this vlog will go up before then but and now I'm just like procrastinating doing my homework by filming this clip but yeah I have a lot of things to do so I'm gonna go do them I'm really sorry about not vlogging I'm a terrible vlogger hi guys so I was gonna go to bed because it's 11, almost 11.30 at night. But Sam from Thoughts on Tomes is still hosting a Twitter sprint starting at 11.30. So I think I'm going to read. I'm so tired, but I'm going to try and read some. So, Hi guys, so it is the last day of the Tome Double Readathon. It is now 1.50 p.m. and there's an hour-long sprint that's starting now. So I'm going to keep reading quick update from last night. I did manage to read one page and then my roommate came in and I had to turn off the light pretty soon after that. I've read a couple more pages. Um, there was a sprint that was going during my first class of the day, my American history class. And it's a class that like I can half pay attention in for the most part because the professor loves to just talk. And he talks like we're weirdly slow like it's he has this strange sort of cadence when he talks and so like it takes him a really long time to say anything meaningful a lot of the time so I was able to participate in a sprint that went on the sprint went for 50 minutes and I was able to do like 25 or 30 minutes give or take of the sprint which was super kind of fun um it was a little bit harder because you have to read and pay attention to with, like half pay attention to go, what's going on in class so you don't actually miss anything but I managed to do it it was fine um and yeah now I'm going to keep reading it's the story is getting really interesting there's a couple things that are happening in like this build up of this world and it's yeah it's good so I'm gonna sprint now let's go and if you're wondering why I'm always in my bed because I am constantly reading in here um, I don't really have, this is so wonky, hold on. I don't really have anywhere else I can read. I could read uh, in our living room. My bed is way, way comfier than our living room here. And the only other thing I could vlog, or I could read on is my desk that's over there. But again, my bed is way comfier. So, I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, so, now it is almost 6 o'clock at night. And I read 
a lot more or like 200 pages well I don't know I'm on page 302 I think yep 302 so it's getting really interesting things are starting to kind of weave together um, and everything's coming along it's good I'm realizing more and more how like there's two storylines really going on you have the present and then you have the past which is leading up to the present and kind of explaining like the history of this um, fantasy world but it's yeah it's really good also I forgot that the like leader of this I don't know if she's a leader of like the whole like all of the countries or what but her name is Kira and she spelled the same way as I spell my name which is super fun uh, so I like that too you yeah. know just a little more incentive for me to read some more um, I am going to meet my new roommates pretty quickly here and then I have a crew meeting tonight too but and then we're possibly going out to Culver's afterwards so I don't know how much more reading I'm gonna be able to do tonight which means that this might be as far as I get for the Tom Tobble Readathon. So at this point, I've finished one and a half books, which is pretty good. I'll do a wrap up tomorrow at some point in time, anyways. But yeah, I'm counting it a win. I did get the name of the wind in case if I managed to finish A Plague of Giants before this was the next book that I was going to read, right? But I, I just got it from the library, so like mass market paper about it paperback I'm pretty sure this one is um, and it's very thick so I definitely will not be finishing this anytime soon but maybe I'll start it but it's good and I'm liking it but I just have not had I'm not devoted as much time to this readathon as I was hoping I would but that's kind of on me which is you know my fault but that's okay because I I enjoyed this readathon I love doing the Twitter sprints this was the first time I've had a Twitter in the time that there is a readathon so I could do a Twitter sprint so that was super fun I enjoyed doing those um, I was only able to do like a couple but they were fun when I did them so I encourage you if you've never done a Twitter sprint before do one like it's an it's cool so uh, yeah that's my update for now and if I don't see you guys tonight I will see you tomorrow morning alrighty so it is a much much later and I'm here to wrap up my Tome Topple reading experience so it was good it was long, it was a lot of me talking, so I appreciate you guys watching that. And I will tell you what all I read. So, I read 532 pages in Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I finished this, it was fantastic and magical, and I absolutely loved it. And then I read 302 pages of A Plague of Giants by Kevin Hearn, and I got quite far into it and really enjoyed it, which brings my total of pages read to 834. So that's not bad for two weeks of reading in which I read a lot and then didn't read hardly at all. I had a really fun time doing this. If you guys have any tips for how to vlog better, because this is the first well, the second time that I have ever done a vlog of a readathon. I have some ideas on how I can make this better, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!